12.47 this is not going to take long to charge these batteries alright and I can put more switches on put this down we're going to charge uh, well we're going to look at the voltage for battery 2 battery 2 is 12.0 we're going to turn that on. Whoa. Going up pretty fast. Let's turn off battery one. I could turn all six batteries on, but I just want to show you how it does one. All right, this is just battery two. The problem with lead acid they charge too slow and they discharge medium the capacitors have the capacity to uh, discharge immediately which that is a problem when I shut this down my capacitors in there are still fully charged so you can see I turn all these on Let me get a better view. Alright, we are on my switch over here. And that switch right there is on battery two. And all six batteries are charging. 12.27. Let's go to battery three. Twelve point two five battery four twelve point two turn on battery one again. Next battery. Next battery, I think that's five or six. Yep, that was six. There's battery six. Twelve point two three. Now those are charging. 12.24. Like I said, lead acid batteries take a while to charge. So it's not the best idea. The Maxwell 3000 Farads was a good thing back then. They have a better recharging cycle like 3,000 times now these batteries are very old and I boiled them what 12.25 and that's six batteries charging so if I turn off everything else let's go just battery six You can see it's a lot faster. 12.29. And it takes a few hours, of course, because they're lead acid batteries. But this guy is still doing well. Whoops. Still doing well, not bogging down. Now, that's the battery charging. Let me show you what's on the oscope. Now we're showing DC. Can't read that. 26.8 volts DC average. I got spikes up there. But let's shut off the batteries first. All right, all batteries are off. We got to go to times 10 there now the lights are on on the electronic panel we got peak to peak of 180 
170, 160.8, all right, about 170. Now you see these gaps in here. Those gaps, we don't want those. Watch what I'm going to do now. So I'm not sure you can see, but mathematically, I have eight magnets and nine coils. That's an onagon. I think that's what they call it. And if I line them up perfectly, it doesn't really work. Each circuit up here, they're all the same. However, in manufacturing, each one's a little bit different than the other. So what I do down here, to make these spikes <clears throat> on the O-scope closer together and no big gaps, is I got to move these around. Move this one over here, I get a bigger gap. They can't be that close. Move this guy over here. He's too close to the other guy. But if I put them perfectly, I can get fewer gaps. Let's go back down here. So like I was saying, I can move these coils left and right. You see that big gap? We don't want that. We want the gaps closer together. So we're going to do this. Move this coil. This is number five. We're going to move number nine. But I can do this all day long. And it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to go back to DC. And go back to times one. We're at 26.8 volts, but you see those spikes? Those spikes right there is what I want to get rid of. So here's coil 5. Let's move it to the right. Nope, that's bad. Move it to the left. One of these coils is not firing in the correct position. Here's coil 9. Ooh, see we got rid of that spike. That's pretty good. The negative spikes are bad. The high spikes are good. So, this is uh, number seven. Go to the left. Ooh, see? Go to the right. Go to the right. Go to the right. And go to the left. Alright. We had it really good. I messed that up. So these are just sitting here. They're very, very heavy. I have a coil winding machine I made. That's number six. I don't think that's the one causing it. Let's go back to seven. Left. Right. Right. Yeah, it might not be seven. Uh, coil two. Man, I had this thing almost perfectly tuned up. But to show you, I moved stuff around. We got that negative spike. We want to get ooh. We want to get rid of that. Move it to the left. Okay. Positive spikes are good. This is number three. To the right. That's even better. Tilt it a little bit. Make it face the magnets. Oh, come on. That's a good charge right there. I don't see any negative spikes. Okay, what do you think?